He's coming back. Oh yeah, then why isn't he called and where is he? And why was that mask at his apartment? Hey, for all you know, he bought that thing to freak you out. Yeah, and he cut school and he's hiding out to make it even freakier. Something is really wrong, Marco. We all know it. The question now is where do I go next, right? Hmm. Well, in my experience, one place is pretty much like another, although Paris has been better than most. I mean, at least it has been for Shane and me. People are friendly, they mind their own business, except for my boss. <laughs> and it's one of the only places left where you can still find a cup of coffee for less than a buck. Take it from me, Miss Paris, Texas Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe I might have given Paris, Texas a chance, but Alice isn't here, so now I, uh... Why don't I sub for Alice? I don't see how she could do much more for you than I can. No, I don't know, Gigi. It... Well, at least let me try. And hey, if it doesn't work out, get back in your car and shoot on out of here with little Billy. And where? And go where? Gigi. Hard to find a better place than good old Paris. What do you say? Look, Gigi, I, I don't know about this, okay? <laughs> you are gonna be just fine, I know it. No, he's on my tail. Well, you've made your decision, and now you've just gotta outsmart the bastard, and you'll do it. No, I don't have much okay. choice. Celian, you have gotta stop looking back. All you've got is the future. I was all alone when I had Shane. Went back to work a week out of the hospital and I've been working ever since. And you've seen him, he's great. He's in school, he plays t-ball and soccer. And Billy will be just fine too, because he has you. Who's there? It's just me, Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh my, he what is on your face? Did anyone ever teach you how to use a napkin? What is that, chocolate? Noelle gave me a piece of her towel fudge cake. <laughs> Noelle's a baker at the cafe. Boss doesn't appreciate her, but you'll love her. I'll introduce you to all the girls I work with. We'll take real good care of you and Billy. You know, um, when my dad was missing, my mom made us make posters and post them all over town. I'd wait on that. Well, why? Well, uh, what if Cole just had to go out of town for a day and he comes back and there's flyers everywhere? He's not gonna like that. But it's okay to post his face all over the internet? Guys, I know you're trying to help me stay positive, but something is wrong. And I'm afraid that if we don't do something soon, it's gonna be too late. All better? Mm. Yes. David explained everything to me. So you see, congratulations are in order. One always wishes the bride best wishes, oh. but I think David can do better. And he will next time. There isn't going to be a next time, Dorian, so you can lock up your hope chest. <laughs> He's mine as long as I want him. Isn't that true, pussycat? <laughs> oh, the things one does for love. And of course, you couldn't hang on to him no matter how hard you tried. Could she, Tiger? Uh, let's leave the cat metaphor in the litter box where it belongs. <laughs> let's go, kitten. Okay. By the way, what brings you two back to Landview? I don't see anybody rolling out the red carpet. Oh, Alex has some unfinished business. With the Buchanans. You didn't tell me that. Whatever business she has will remain unfinished. You see, the Buchanans have all left town. They've gone to Texas for the reading of Asa's will. God help me. I thought a toast might be appropriate. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Nigel. I have sparkling cider for the lucky few. Uh, can I help you open the champagne? You may pop the cork. <laughs> Actually, I could use something a little stronger than champagne. Me too. So how's it feel? Like you won the lottery? I still don't think it's right. Chuck, that's the way Asa wanted it. I mean, you know this property inside and out. It's going to prosper with you running it. There's a big difference between running it and owning it. Not anymore. Asa wanted you here, wanted Nora in the house, wanted Nigel to have the island, and I think it's because the three of you took good care of the people and places he loved the most. One thing I don't understand, though, 
is all of us being on the board at BE and doing everything together? Well, I have absolutely no interest in sitting on that board, so I'm going to defer all of my decisions over to you. No, you can't do that, Missy. Your granddaddy was quite clear. <laughs> You're in this together. Well, frankly, I think that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Not necessarily. In fact, I think it makes perfect sense. Star, you're making yourself crazy. You gotta try to chill. Of course I'm making myself I'm crazy. How can I relax? He's hurt. Do you hear yourself? Now you stop this negative talk right now. You're not helping Cole. Now, all of you, sit and eat. I'm not hungry. No. You're gonna eat so you can keep up your strength. Honey, you're not gonna do Cole any favor by getting sick. Now, don't even think of leaving this house, because I told your aunt that I'm going to take good care of you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, we can serve ourselves. Sit! It's going to be okay, Star. The cops are going to find him. Thanks, Dan. What if he's already dead? So Ace's will is being read in Texas. Yes. Asa insisted that everybody fly down there for the reading of the will. And since that devil always got exactly what he wanted. Oh, you can't tell me anything about him. He's my ex-husband. Yes. David, won't it be nice when you're part of his company? David's not going to die. Oh, no. I meant when he becomes one of your exes, which he will be before the end of the year. I have to go down to Texas because, well, I want to be with Clint. We're going with you. We are? Yes. No one invited you. I'm sure no one invited you either. But the last time I checked, anyone could buy a seat on a jet. So that's what we'll do. We'll go down there. We'll finish my business. We'll live happily ever after. after that. Uh, you know, m maybe we should wait until they all come back here, you know, just out of respect for your ex-husband and all. And no, that's the whole point, darling. <laughs> Asa may have very well left me something in his will. He may have even left something for you. For David? Everyone loves David. Especially me. You heard Asa. His family and his business, that was his life. And this is his way of keeping it together. And I agree with him. I mean, it's not going to be easy. You all are right, you're smart, stubborn, just like him. You got it in your blood. But you love each other. And if you have to agree from time to time, it might bring you a little closer together. Ace's real legacy is the love in this room. To you, Pa. You're the most irritating, stubborn, <laughs> irascible man I've ever known. You are certainly one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And all of us in this room, we love you, and we're going to miss you something awful. To Asa. To you, Oh, I had a good time tonight, Vicky. Your pleasure to be with. Thank you. I really enjoyed myself, too, honestly. I, mm. I'm glad the speakers went out, gave us a chance to talk. Well, you know, no matter how old you get, this particular moment never changes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh my God, Vicky, I'm so sorry. Oh no, there's nothing to be sorry about. Hey, we were just saying goodnight, that's all. What are you doing here? Hi, Shane. Uh, Shane's half asleep. Oh, yeah. um, we're just visiting a friend. Um, we'll get out of your way. Well, I guess I'll see you at breakfast. I will look forward to it. Good night. Good night. <laughs>